Okay, good morning, ma'am. Today, I am Michelle and Naufal. We are going to present it about budgeting. Next slide. Okay, so first one is about budgetary control. Budget, budgetary control is a system of controlling costs which includes the which includes the preparation of budget, coordinating the department, and establishing the responsibilities to achieve the maximum profitability. And in budget, budgetary control, the control consists of steps taken by the management to see whether the plan objective are being met or not. And also, budgetary control is the use of budget in controlling the operations. In, budget, in budgetary control, in, involve the develop of budget, analyze the differences between the actual and the budget, take the corrective actions, and then modify future plans. Next. And the next one is about uh, the three possible outcomes in budgetary control. The first one is actual is equal for the equal budget, means that we achieve the target, no more, no less. And the next one is actual results is uh, lesser than the budget that there is two aspects to be discussed which is favorable that if the comparison on is a cost on item that outcome is good because we spend cost less than what we are expect and the adverse one is the if the comparison is on the revenue item this outcome is not good because we earn revenue less than what we expect and the one is actual result is bigger than the budget and also there are two aspects aspects which is favorable and at first in the comparison on cost item this is the outcome is not good because we spend more than the than we expect expect which is the at first and the favorable is the comparison is on the revenue item this outcome is good because we earn revenue more than what we expect the differences between the favorable and uh, between the budget and actual cost is called variance Next. And this is, is the example of the example of how to how we calculate this flexible budget. So in this example that we have direct material per unit is RM5 and the direct labor per unit is RM7 and the variable production unit is RM3. This is for the variable cost and the total fixed cost which is production overhead is uh, 4,500. The maintenance is 3,000 and the supplies is 2,500 max. And this is how we calculate that we have to calculate for uh, like 10,000 units, five, uh, 15,000 units, 2,000 units and 200 units. Then we, we calculate like direct material of 10,000 times five in the previous slide, then direct labor, direct labor times seven, and the variation product overhead that times three. We calculate this by time by calculate the units times the each for each units and for the fixed cost because it's fixed, so there is no differences for the units. So here's the total of. 10,000 units, then 15,000 units, 20,000 units, and 200,000 units. Next. So this is the actual cost for the direct material, direct labor, production overhead, and maintenance supplies. So this, like, this actual budget is for 2,000 units. Next. 12,000. So this is for the 12,000 units. So we have to calculate the flexible budgets for the 12,000 units with the same with the same uh, the same number like 12,000 times 5 for the direct material then 12,000 times 7 for the direct labor and 12,000 times 3 for the for the overhead and for the fixed cost the maintenance will be 3,000 and the supplies will be uh, 2000, 2,500. Then the actual is from the previous slide, that which is fixed. Then the variance. The budget for our direct material is six, 
60,000, but the actual is 55,000. So the first is 5,000, which is favorable because the budget is more bigger than the actual. And the next one is for the direct labor. The direct labor is 84,000 and the actual is 80,000, which is we have variance 4,000 and which and that means it's favorable. Then the overhead, we have budget for 4,000. 40 and 40,500 and the, but the actual is 70,000 so the variance is 2000 20,500 which is at first because the actual is more higher than the budget and for the maintenance fixed cost it's the same so there is no differences and for the supplies the actual is more higher 200,000 so it will be 200 so it will be at first And the next one is what is budget? Budget is the detailed, detailed plan that coordinates various activities with the company. And it is a financial or quantitative statement prepared or approved prior in advance to a defined period of time for the policy to be pursued during the period in order to achieve the given objective. Next. And this is the budget proposes. The first one is for planning, which is annual operations, to ensure we need your plan for future operations. The next one is to consider future changes in condition and step to respond to the changes. And the next one is encourage manager to anticipate problems before they arise and minimize hasty decisions. In the planning process, we have to establish fundamental objective of the business. And also we have to setting up policies to pursue such objective. And the third one, we have to plan the signs that should fit the objective. And the next, and the second one is coordinations that the activities of the firm. In coordination, we have to make an action of different parts of the firm that, that can be brought together and reconciled into a common plan that uh, or goal congruence. And the example for the coordination and the coordination between purchasing manager and production managers. And in coordinations, we also allow managers to examine the relationship between their own operations and those of other departments to identify the resolve and to resolve conflict. In the coordination pr process, uh, include the preparing and examining functional budgets and finalizing budgets into master budgets. And the third one is communications. In communication, we have to deliver plan to other responsibility center managers. To and in communications, we have to make it the communication effectively in all departments that must be kept fully informed of the firm plans, policies, and constraints. And we also have to con ensure the appropriate individual are made accountable for implementing budget. And also we have to meet the expectation of top management that can be delivered to the lower management because everyone perform their work to achieve firm primary goal. The next one is motivations to achieve firm's goal that a budget provides standard that manager may be motivated to strive to achieve. And also budget also encourage inefficiency and conflict between managers when the budget is detected for above and imposed a threat rather than a challenge. The next one is control or the firm activities to ensure that actual results conform to plans so that the best possible result is obtained and done by comparing actual cost with budgeted cost amount from the different categories of expenses. Manager can identify expenses that run from original plan and require attention. And in control process, include compare actual performance versus budgeted or plan. And also investigation reveals that the plan is unexpectedly or condition have changed, then the plan will be revised. And then the plan is satisfactory, then step will be taken to make corrective actions. Then the last one is the performance evaluations or manager performance that evaluated by measuring the success in meeting the budgets and the awards can be bonus or promotions. Then the, or also the manager wants to evaluate his own performance. Next. The next one is the budget committee. Budget committee is a group of people that creates and maintains fiscal responsibility for an entity or organizations. In a company, this com com committee usually consists of the top management and the chief finance officer. And budget committee typically reviews and approve department budgets that are submitted by the various department heads. 
and the composition of this budget committee is the high, high level executive ensure budget are well established and coordinate satisfactorily this higher high level executive include sales managers production managers purchasing managers personnel managers marketing managers and r&d manager and the next one is the budget officer or normally accountant that to coordinate the individual budget into a budget for the whole firm so that the individual budget can give impact to the firm as a whole. And the last one is accounting staff to assist the manager in the preparation of budget. And the example is to giving advice or the instructions about the budget. And the duties of this budget committee is to establishing procedure of the, for the submissions. Then they also coordinate the activities they provide manager with such information as may assist in the preparations and also giving acceptance of budget by the committee. Then prepare the cost comparison statement and define actually results achieved against budget control and prepare the budget manual. Next. Then the next one is budgeting process. And this budgeting process include the communicating details of the budget policy and guidelines, then determine the factors that restrict the performance, preparation of the functional budget that will be discussed later, and also negotiation of the budgets, coordination and review of budgets, final acceptance of budget, and then the budget review. Next. Okay, uh, next we will talk about the functional budget. So first of all, let's talk about sales budget. Shows the quantities of each product that company uh, plan to sell and the intended selling price. It is the foundation of all other budgets since our first register is dependent on the volume of sales. Sales unit is predicted based on past sales level and trends, and then general economic trends, and then political and legal events, expected and competitors and then market research studies and this is the picture of how table looks like and the next is about the production budget production budget is prepared to ensure that the production is sufficient to meet sales demand and the economic stock levels are maintained also this is the example of title and the next is about material usage budget Material usage budget estimated the materials which are required to meet the production budget. And then this is the how table looks like. And then a material purchases, material purchase budget. Purchasing manager is responsible to obtain the planned quantities of raw material to meet the production requirements. It is used to purchase a material at the right time and, and at, at and at the plan purchase price. And the next is about direct labor budget. Direct labor budget estimates the department's labor hours required to meet the plan production. This is the example of table. And the last is about the production cost budget. Production cost budget for cost control, the material usage budget, direct labor, budget and factory overhead budget are combined into production cost budget. <clears throat> so this is the one piece or one example or one question that we can uh, apply or understand about the functional uh, budget. So Shirin BHC manufacturer uh, has a three products, Toto, Nana, and Lala. The following information is for the month of December 20X1 will provide it here. So budget sale for total is 8,000 units, and Nana 5,000 units, and Lala 2,000 units. Selling price per unit for total is 15 ringgit Malaysia, and then Nana 12 ringgit Malaysia, and Lala is 10 ringgit Malaysia. Stock as at the beginning of the December or 1st December 20X1, total is 1,000 units, Nana 500,000 units, and then Lala 1.5 thousand units. And the stock as at 31 December 2000 X1, 
total 800 units and lala 1000 units and lala 2000 units. So to produce one unit of each product, the raw material needed are as follows. Uh, for each categorized uh, rather uh, total nana and lala as a similar raw material, they are divided into two things here, AB and AC. For total, it's 4 kilogram. And then nana 2 kilogram and lala 6 kilogram for AB raw material. And then AC, for total, is 5 kilogram. And then nana 3 kilograms and lala 2 kilograms. The budget stock of raw materials are, so here we are, they provided about the stock of raw material. When December 20 is 1, AB has uh, 1,000 kilograms, and then AC has 2,000 kilograms. And the last period of December, uh, AB has a 2,000 kilogram, and AC has 3.5 thousand kilogram. And also provided the cost per kilogram of our raw material are, are as follows. AB has a 3 ringgit Malaysia per kilogram, and then AC has a 2 ringgit Malaysia per kilogram. And then also provided about the direct labor per unit and production overhead for each category. Uh, the total to hour and per hour uh, was have a value, I mean, have a value for for uh, for Malaysia, Nana, three hours, and so on and so on. And what we have to do about this example is also provided in this question. We have to prepare the following budget for the month of December. 20x1. So first, we have to prepare set budget, and then production budget, and the material usage budget, and the material purchase budget, and then direct labor budget, and the last is what a production cost budget. So this is the next, or uh, this is the solution that we can do. First of all, we have to find the sales budget for the month of December 20x1. So yeah, we have to uh, calculate about the sales units time with the sales per unit we can earn this data from the question to show you this one uh, and then we can times with the selling price per unit so yeah and after that if we find the value that that's all the total sales value you can see here total has a 120,000 and then another 60 thousand and lala twenty thousand and the next is we have to find the production budget for the month of december 20x1 uh, the data from the first thing here we have to put the sales unit here total nana and lala is similar put in here and then we add with the closing stock is provided here for total is 800 nana 1000 and then lala 2000 we add all of this value inside of this table and then we decrease or we list with the opening stock stock it also provided here you can see and we just input it into the table and count all of this and we can cut the total quantity to be produced total uh, has a seven point eight thousand and the nana five point five thousand and lala has a two point five thousand the next thing we have to count the material usage budget for the month of december 2020 so we put uh, the data from the previous uh, calculation total here and the nana here and then lala here the next we have to find the material usage budget with the times uh, follow this instruction. So 7.8 thousand units times with 4 kilogram. It comes from here, from this table. We do the same thing from the uh, AC also, the 5. So we put here 5. And we do the same things also in Nana and Lala. And after we count all of this, we can get the value here, total material usage in PG. Uh, AB, the amount of material usage, AB is uh, 57.2 thousand and then AC 60.5 thousand. And then next, this material purchase budget, it's similar like before, we put this amount into this table 
and we add with the closing stock. Yeah, guys, come from here. We on all of this. Follow this uh, information. It's 2,000. And the next is uh, 3,500. After we add it, we have to list or to choose with the opening stop. 1,000 and I see 2,000. And we got the amount of total material to be purchased in kilogram. And we have two times with the cost per kilogram provided here. The cost per kilogram per raw material are as follows here, A, B, and IC. After that, we calculate and times with each other. And we got the this value, 1,174.6 thousand, uh, and then 124,000. And the next, is calculate the direct level budget for the month of December 2020 with this with the similar value here, total and ana and lala. And we count it, I follow the information from the question, and we got all of this at the total cost is 143.150. And then we use this value or DL cost total we put in here in the next table to find a production cost budget of the, for the month of December 2020. So here this uh, result we can get from the question. You can see there and then you can calculate it follow this instruction and until we find the total production cost. For the total is 22 for 9 and 600 and then nana 132,000 and then lala 9625 and 0. So the next thing we will talk about the cash budget. Cash budget is a predetermined a statement which shows in a summary the expected cash receipt and expected cash payments during a planned period. It shows the effect of the budget activities of the business, selling and buying paying expenses, buying and selling of assets, investment in capital projects, receipt of dividend and etc. Purpose of preparing cash budget is to ensure or to ensure there will be sufficient cash to cope adequately with the budget activities. The budget will show if there is deficiency of cash in the future in which the management may want to plan and applying for additional financing in preparation for the deficiency. And the third is to or alternatively the like the likelihood, likelihood the, there are a crash of plus that management may want to channel into profitable investments. A cash budget can be divided into two parts. First is receipt, if such as like the sales and then receipt from the debtors or customers, receipt from interest, dividends, and etc. And the second is a payment, uh, it's such like cash purchases and payment to creditor or suppliers payment for interest on loan or debentures, and the payment of dividends to shareholders, and etc. So we will have a question here, tutorial cash budget uh, for these things, you know, STNB HD, in the process of preparing the budget for 20X2, the following information has been uh, complied. Here yeah, you can see and you can read it. So what we have to do about this question is we use we have to prepare the cash budget for the three months and the March 20x2 and then briefly explain how a budget can be used to motivate manager. Mm. So this is the solution that we prepare uh, that we can do as a solution. So first of all, we have put here opening of January. It it, it uh, provided in the question. Uh, here, 3,000, you can see here, and then we count the cash sales. Oh, first of all, we have to count the January sales. It means that 25 uh, ringgit Malaysia times 3,500 units 
between the XT7 and 500. The why we can get this value, how we can get this value is come from here, 25 ringgit Malaysia with the chain wearing uh, sales unit. After that, we count the cash sales. It's also provided in question. 10% of cash sales, 10% uh, of sales are cash sales. So we times with 10%, we got this uh, value. And then why we have to do this 5% cash discount is because you can see here, the question provided some additional information. A cash discount of 5% is given on all cash sales and for the store we pay in the month of sale. We time with uh, 5%. So this is a discount and the remain uh, we have 95% of page January. So this is the value of uh, cash sale page January. Then the credit sales, we have information here also. 25% of credit sales will be settled at the end of the month of sales. So why we can get the how we can get uh, ninety percent here because you are from the one hundred percent minus with ten percent we can get ninety percent. The amount is here, and like I said before, the settled January is twenty five percent. But because we give a five percent as a discount, we just earn here. So first of all, you times with twenty five percent and with seventy eight thousand here, and then you. Uh, time the result will be your time to the 90%. It shows that you get or that you settle before. The settle for February it's the remain between 100% of this value minus with 25%. And you can earn and you can uh, look this uh, value for the settle February. And then the next thing we have to input all of this uh, calculation inside this table and follow this instruction instruction so cash sales is 8.31 and 3 it comes from here and then 25 percent in one income it come from here and then this 731 one after come from the december and the total receipt it means that all of this receipt we calculate uh, we can sum all of this the amount, amount of money uh, value is 77,000 and the total cash available you add with this 3,000 you can earn or you can get the value like this and then the payment of output is provided in the question which is uh, suitable which is find the suite categorized and you can input it into these things uh, this table and the wages is come from and then uh, all of that thing have a different color because we categorize into the four thing. The yellow one is talk about the January transaction and the February transaction is green one and then March transaction is more like red or cream one and the December transaction is blue one. And all of these things that you have the submission before, you can get the uh, total payment and total cash available. So the closing balance we can the value here is come from the total cash available minus with total payment and all of this and after that uh, closing balance you have to put the right here or prepare the opening next month that you report before uh prepare before also happen in the next month to do like a thirty thousand here you put as an opening on february and the closing balance for the february as the opening of march and we have to do that, uh, so on and so on and so on. And the last is about the briefly explain how a budget can be used to motivate managers. This is the answer for it. A uh, budget can be used to motivate managers by providing useful performance evaluation. This is especially true when the manager involves formation used to monitoring of budget result, And then the budget also specify targets and goals. Hence, managers are encouraged to achieve the stated goals, and the budget can be used to assist managers is in setting plan and organize activities to meet from school and objectives. Hence, it can have a positive impact on the manager's attitude and performance. 
So that's all from us. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. So yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.